Hey guys, I'm Ken Domic. I'm with KBD Productions TV. I was asked by one of my awesome subscribers, how do I put the graphics and arrows and stuff into my videos? So this is going to be a quick tutorial on how I do that. I'm using Final Cut Pro. This is Final Cut Pro 6.0.6. .6. And uh, what I like to do is go into uh, Photoshop first and bring my artwork, my graphic, if I want to draw it, make it, create it, whatever, I bring it into Photoshop or I'll make it here and make it or draw it or bring it in, import it into a uh, transparent background. Usually when you import something, it'll ask you, do you want it to be a white background or a transparent background? Make sure it's a transparent background. That way when you export this as a PNG, it'll just export the arrow and not the background. If we export it as a JPEG, it'll bring it in as a photograph and that all this um, checkered area will be a white background and it'll bring it in as if it's a photograph. So what we're going to do is export or save as and make sure it is a PNG a desktop. We'll click on our browser area. We will uh, Apple I or Command I uh, it's for import, or you can even go up to file, uh, file import, uh, grab your arrow. There's your arrow. You would drag it in over top of the area uh, that you want your arrow or your graphic. What we do, this was uh, the ride Leviathan, and uh, I dropped my iPhone on this ride, and uh, I actually found it in this dirt. But it's so far away and I'm using a GoPro so I can't zoom in. Uh, you can't see it so I put an arrow there. So I drag the graphic just like this. I put it on top of all my other graphics. This is a title for, uh, this is my uh, watermark. And this is my video, that's my audio, just in case you don't know anything about uh, this kind of software. So I put my arrow on top just like that. Uh, I can now click on it and it'll show you the bounding box so when I put my arrow over top of it it should turn into a little swivel there or a rotation tool and then I can rotate it I can size it if I wanted to by grabbing an edge and, and dragging it out and I can do that over time as well so I can make the arrow grow or I can make it turn over time so that's uh, pretty much how I get my graphics into there's my iPhone there it still worked that was awesome and I basically do the same thing with the end of my video just to quickly show you. So I do the same thing with this. These are all individual pieces of artwork. Uh, they don't have a transparency just because it's the full size photograph basically. So uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten layers of things all merged together to make a, a video like this. All right, guys. So there you go. That's how you put a graphic into your video. If you have any more questions, just leave a comment below and click the like button. And don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Bye.